Pisces, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm using several new decks so it is exciting and I've got lots to tell you but keep my website next week um, in uh, keep an eye on my website as I will be uh, posting a video there because I'm also going to uh, do a competition within just before the summer holidays Okay, I'm using the Shadowland Tarot deck by Monica Bravinsky, and you can see um, uh, uh, a review there uh, on the deck, uh, on my channel, and on my website. I have to upload it up to the website next week. I'll be updating my website next week, because I've also got to do the romance readings for June and uh, this is the Shadowland deck and that's the tarot and then I've also by the same author have the Lenemon or the Oracle deck the Br Monica Bravinsky says it's an Oracle deck but it is um, related to Lenemon then I've got a new Lenemon deck there there's also um, a review uh, up on the channel uh, on YouTube as well that's the Mirror Truth Lenemon, and then the Crystal Oracle deck by Colet Baron Reed, my new deck, and then we've got the White Witches Tarot uh, deck, and that's uh, the Major Arcana, and I've got postcards from Spirit. Okay, so let's get started. This is your reading from the twenty-fifth till the 31st of May 2020 and it's for Pisces. If you would like to have an extended reading then please look below the video for information or click on this white circle in the corner. Please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified. Okay and welcome back to my cyber angels and thank you very much for your loyalty and welcome to new viewers. The first card you have is the Five of Wands, and it's quite humorous, this deck. I love it. It looks like uh, owls, but with a, a, a tentacle or something on top of their heads, <laughs> playing uh, joisting, doing joisting. And this is what it means, really. It is. Um, some readers say it is uh, disagreements or um, a matter of opinion different opinion um, but I say also if that is it it could be but I think it is people um, comp competing against each other look at them trying to be headbangers <laughs> the word headbangers <laughs> come uh, um, come in mind so don't be a headbanger I mean, enjoy the competition it is healthy okay and a headbanger is somebody that is banging his head against a brick wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I've got to laugh at this deck, I love it. So anyway, uh, competition is healthy, but uh, and then having a matter of your own opinion is also healthy, but it's no use uh, making arguments about it, okay? Just uh, uh, in, uh, enjoy the competition and uh, you know you have your opinion and they have their opinion so just uh, find the mid midway the mid road really um, I know you might be uh, this is the heart obviously there could be passion involved uh, in this that in, in you might have disagreements uh, in passion but you know in um, in a love situation because you've got the heart but look at the, how the heart is stitched up here <laughs> and our heart does break from time to time and we stitch it up again because it's stronger than we think and you could be the winner if you are in a competition okay you might not be in balance um, because your heart might be uh, broken so often that now it is time to st sit down and talk and say that your relationship or partnership whether in work or in love is not a competition you need to be balanced and you will find balance because you've got 24 and that becomes a 6 so you're moving on from a 5 to a 6 okay 
just be careful in how you say it you know because these these head banging sticks <laughs> they are quite pointy <laughs> that was on Monday and on Wednesday you have the Ace of Swords now I'm getting more um, I'm every time I've had these cards for two days but every time I come back I see more and more things like the feather you might uh, the feather is that you um, have victory the Ace of Swords is victory you might have victory in something you might have told the truth with, and you might have written the truth you might have um, signed a contract and I'm getting to hear this could be a contract to agree with something so to get clarity uh, you've looked at the small print it could be a judicial situation and factor and seeing more things and I don't know it's a bird I thought it was an eye I just sort of saw a face in the cloud and that that was the eye and this is the nose um, but you know it's a little bird a little bird told you something the truth that could be it you could start a new study the you might have victory in a judicial situation or an issue as the swords stand for communicating uh, wisdom so it could be a new study or you've got gained new knowledge and justice of course but a little bird has told you something something new is going to begin perhaps wow okay Pisces and then we have the bear and you know that the bear in the Lenormand means that somebody could be jealous of you um, you can stand your ground and uh, somebody's gone over your back in this deck I feel somebody's used you could have used you or could have gone over your back used you as a support or an excuse and you were sleeping you were hibernating but you've woken up now because you've heard news okay the little bird the little bird has told you okay luck is on your side with the bear you could have luck from legal uh, institutions or municipalities so it's a very lucky day on Wednesday you might have got clarity about your tax returns because um, well because of the COVID virus uh, we can't do our tax returns yet so uh, everything is closed so now things might be opening up and you'll get clarity about your tax returns or you might have uh, heard that school is opening up and you've been hibernating and you've got to catch up with your work the knowledge because they're going back to school on the 1st of June then you have the chariot and the chariot is means also victory public recognition so you've got a week of victory definitely you might be traveling this week you might be going on holiday or moving home but you're moving onwards and upwards there might even be a promotion because you finished your study or you've got the knowledge you can do the job that's why you get get the job you might have to move for your job or you have public recognition that's why you get um, an R from the boss and you're getting a promotion somebody could be jealous because of that could be a cancer a chariot stands for cancer okay don't forget it could be a Pisces or a Scorpio as well the ace of swords well that's the air signs that's Libra Gemini and Aquarius they might have been the little bird that told you the truth or given you clarity but you've got the fish and the fish 
means luck in business, luck at work. Like I said, you might be getting a promotion. Know your boundaries. Let others know your boundaries. No is no, the shortest sentence. Number 34 is 7, so luck is on your side as well. Double luck here. You can work well in groups. Okay. Then we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is a Leo. She knows what she wants. And she takes action. She's creative. She's also very creative. She'll think of a way to get what she wants. And she goes for it. And she will be passionate about it. She is also passionate. So, the, you might meet a Leo. Whether you're a man or a woman. This could be a man with a nurturing side. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and partnerships. Like I said, you might be forming partnerships in love or in business. As you've got the business card. Somebody could be jealous because of that, that you've got such a gorgeous partner. Ooh, an active partner. Perhaps that was the competition. Because they wanted them. Okay, and then you've got the Knight of Swords again. The Knight of Swords is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You, he's bringing you. You could meet him, but they could bring you news, and this news will be really swift. Look at the little man <laughs> sitting on the bat's back. This could come through air. So, email, telephone, or text message. Whoopee! And then you back in balance. You've got twenty. 20 becomes a 2, you're in balance. That whether you're when you're uh, out of balance in the uh, on Monday, like you've got a 6 here, so you're getting back in balance definitely. And uh, this is reunions, parties, reunion with family and friends because um, this is the 31st, so it could go over on to the 1st of June. But I definitely think in the 31st that weekend you might have a reunion with family and friends. You'll be networking if you are opening up a business. You'll be showing yourself off. Definitely. You're not hiding indoors anymore. You're going out there and putting it out there. You are using your computer, telephone, text message. Wow. Lovely. I love this reading. And then we have the rider. Number one. And the nine of hearts. You can see the heart there and the nine. So there is an ending. A new beginning. So you might form a new partnership. Because you're going to get news or a visitor. Or you are going to go um, and visit somebody. Like I said, you might be travelling. Ooh, nice. Could be business travel, because the fish is underneath it. It could be also um, a, a, a love travel, that you are going to meet the family. Boom, 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 boom. Or your partner. And we've got Lapis Lazier. Uh, Les you lie. Number 30, creativity. I think that's such a beautiful stone. It's like indigo, indigo. Okay, and that's number 30. And blue is also the color of service. Okay. Um, it, it could even be that a marine might be coming back. Because they wear navy blue. I'm playing with numbers, colors. Navy. Navy blue, indigo, navy, ma navy, navy, that's the marines. Okay. And lapis lazier is also creativity. Three if it is creativity. And this uh, stone uh, helps you with spiritual truth. And here we've got the card of truth. Enlightenment, information, 
you be enlightened about something. Meditation. Unit, unity con uh, consciousness. So you'll be conscious with, in unity with a crowd of people. And inner vision. Yes. <laughs> she's got her hair over her face. So she's looking inwards <laughs> at what she wants. I love this queen. <laughs> I think it's amazing. That, look at the shadow side of yourself. So the inner inner knowledge. And then you have the fool. And this is from the White Witch Tarot. And the Fool, that means a new beginning. Take that leap of faith. And I love the Aboriginal drawings. Like these looks like feathers of the peacock. And then you've got the swan or some kind of bird. Hands in an expressive manner. I don't know, can't see. You can see so much from this this deck, and it's like if you've got two birds, the the dark side and the light side. It just reminds us that we have, we can't do without one or the other. But it means a new beginning. The fall is a new beginning. And I'm going to read the verse. Let's have a look. The fool is usually naught, but it has these cards have no numbers on it, and I think that's quite nice because otherwise it might spoil the picture. And I think, uh, but this lady, um, Maya the Doust, has used the fool as the last card as there are 22 cards in the Major Arcana. Okay, the Fool becoming. Is there yet any enemy, an enemy, can pose a threat to one who's loosened all identity? With no distinction necessary, the universe is who you marry. The end of petty opposition brings love itself boom boom opposition there you go you do marry with the universe you are one of the universe and that's the end and the beginning it's nothing into fru uh, fruition unconditional and brave because you are brave, because you, it's telling you to take that leap of faith. It enters through the foolish knave. Hold a mind to right and wrong. And you are chained to abandon. Certainty comes quite quietly. When you take that leap of faith, nothing is guaranteed. But nothing is guaranteed in this life anyway. From acceptance of its own possibility. So take that leap of faith. And your postcard for this week is Dearest Pisces, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from now and from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. Magic, new beginnings. Let's go, go. Well, magic is happening. Woohoo, I love it. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter then you have fun oh yes <laughs> yes Pisces you've got a lovely laugh when was the last time you got really loose silly and goofy 
maybe you need to go dancing or watching some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giggy, gig, giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting and you will be ready to receive in a perfect timing the bounty that spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? Yes, and I think that's a beautiful message. They do care about us and they are with us. I love this message for you Pisces. Don't be too serious. Be more playful. Don't fall asleep on the job. <laughs> be conscious. I love it. I love these cards. Come into action. Boom, 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 boom. Go for what you want. Be the Queen of Wands. Okay. Take a book. Take a leaf out of her book. And use Lapius Lazier to help you get your balance back. Okay. And your quirkiness. Do some meditation. Unite with your un subconscious. What you seek is here now, so push it. Push aside the distractions and fears. Create create your own giddy feeling fun. Okay. All I would so just say is um just sit silently, tune into yourself and phone home. ET. I'm going to call this video ET phone home. <laughs> I love it. Extraterrestrial. Be more spiritual if you can as well. If you know if you are spiritual, then go in and meditate. Do some more meditation, my darling. They love you. And they asking you, do you know that? Don't you just love how much we care about you? And that's beautiful. That rings really nice in the ears. Know that they have sorted out these cards for you, not me. So that was your message for this week, Pisces. Take care and God bless. And remember, have a look at the website because there will be a video going out there telling you what the comp how you can win the Shadowland tarot deck. Thank you for being here. Please show your appreciation by sharing and liking the video with family and friends and stay safe and blessed. Thank you.